Sudeep Bandapadhyay is joining in. He's chairman, uh, group chairman of Inditrade Capital. Sudeep, good to have you in the studios. Yes. So autos are back. Uh, the question is, uh, what do you cherry pick? You know, Bajaj Auto, for instance, great numbers this time, a very confident sounding management. Then there's Maruti. Purely from a returns perspective, next six months to a year, what would be your pecking order? Well, I'll definitely go and pick Maruti. In fact, I've been uh, positive on Maruti for quite some time. People who are running to buy it around 10,000 levels. It mm. corrected, it came down significantly, and I have been telling uh, you know, investors to go and buy Maruti. It's a fantastic story. If you see June numbers, I think in spite of a planned shutdown, the kind of numbers they have produced, amazing. Uh, also, remember that uh, you know, they, 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 they are gaining a further foothold and strength in the export market. With the way the rupee is behaving, I think that also is going to help Maruti. So Maruti, definitely, I will buy. And considering the volatility in the global markets, domestic markets, I think that is a very safe pick. Bajaj, undoubtedly fantastic numbers. Finally, Nigeria is working for them. They have been struggling to get the Nigeria thing right. And it's working. It's paying them dividend. Also, rupee depreciation helps them. But between the two, I'll go and buy Maruti just for the stability uh, point of view. Okay. But by the way, just, just keep an eye on a couple of stocks which have been weak. Like Shrey Infra, for example, uh, you had that one-day rally. Uh, that was uh, sold into today it's been very volatile that stock just pull out the intraday chart of the stock uh, or shall we just look at that towards the end there's been a bit of a pickup that you're seeing uh, on the other hand gen irrigation is almost making to it's still in the green but that's been one of the weaker stocks so gen irrigation is one stock where we are seeing some shots being taken at higher levels so it's uh, uh, all over the place as far as the mid caps are concerned but yes uh, on the large caps of course we've had a big move uh, uh, Good afternoon, Sudip. So, uh, today the stocks that have moved have been auto and auto ancillaries. Uh, uh, your picks in, in this space, uh, you know, Balkrishna has made a move, uh, Bajaj Auto is up, uh, 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 Amara Raja, as we were just discussing, and in the ancillary space. Uh, Anything that you would want to I buy? think ancillary space, uh, we also should uh, look at Bharat Forge. Uh, I mean, of course, it's a fantastic company. They have a leg in the defense as well. And U.S., uh, uh, you know, the SUV and four-wheeler demands have been picking up. Uh, they have a, a, a significant market share there. So I think uh, I will definitely look at uh, Bharat Forge. I also like Excite. I think uh, Amara Raja is, uh, has been doing well, but I think we should not forget Excite. They've been gaining market share. Mm -hmm. uh, Amara Raja was uh, definitely ahead of uh, uh, Excite. Uh, in, in, in the market uh, war, but now I think Excite is kind of coming back. Also, they have an uh, insurance unit sitting inside, 100% uh, owned. That will definitely uh, lead to value unlocking sometime. For a long-term investor, I think Excite is uh, looking good, it can be bought at current level. Bharat Forge definitely is a buy for long term. By the way, the stock that's surging away right now is all cargo logistics, almost 7% higher. A lot of that gain has come in the last five minutes of trade. Uh, promoters bought some equity from the market. They bought almost half a percent uh, more. And that's obviously usually something that the market likes. And there's some interesting trading action going on that stock. I don't know. Any view on this one, Sudeep, if you track it or logistics overall? Of course. In fact, it has been one of our favorite stocks for a very long time. Look, I think uh, these guys have uh, done something uh, which was absolutely unique. The LCL segment, less than container load segment, that's the segment which they kind of revolutionized. Uh, they have a fantastic uh, business going there. The margins, remember, is much, much higher in a less than container load segment. And that's where they play. So I think uh, we have been, uh, you know, kind of recommending investors to buy this uh, a company for a long time and I think uh, you know recent correction was a great opportunity it has moved up uh, a little bit from there but even now it's a great opportunity to buy I think about 150 is the right level we are looking at uh, as far as this talk is concerned okay 